Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish Food and Travel. I'm very excited to make a kitchen tour you wanted from me for a long time. So here we are. Before we begin, I want to tell you a couple of things. I spend most of the time in a day in my kitchen, as you probably all know. We have a balcony and a mix with like a living room kind of. So we do spend a lot of time there too. Sometimes I rush to film before, usually in the winter time, before the sun sets to have the light. So things get, can get very mixed up. My drawers and the cupboards are not always very neat. It's normal, I think. But I wanted to make it as natural as possible. Before I begin to film, I wanted to organize the things that I already have with some little changes. I'm also going to talk about the ingredients. I have a little bit about the Turkish cuisine, what we use most. So let's begin. Here I have my uh, little pantry, uh, my legumes, the rice. Uh, I have some more here on the back. And these are, I use them uh, from here. I have red lentils. This is bulgur wheat, the ancient one from Kastamonu, Siyez Bulguru. This is thin bulgur wheat, red pepper paste from last year. I shared the recipe with you, you can uh, make it. Think of a, a simple home version you can enjoy year long, adding to your dishes and it gives really nice taste and color. This is mix of tomato and red pepper paste. This one, this is only tomato. Here some uh, coffee, uh, herbs, I have some uh, waffles here, natural mineral water, and uh, my pastas. And here I have my pans, trays, my cake pan, different size. This is very old to make baguettes. Uh, I have in different sizes of uh, rectangular pans that I use for uh, making bread. Round pans in different sizes, I use them a lot. I think they usually don't have it in Europe, they have uh, rec in rectangular. But these are very good, especially when you make oven dishes. I shared like many recipes with it. On the uh, lower shelf, I have again the rectangular baking pans. And when you continue from there, I have my good old refrigerator. I had some trouble in the last weeks, uh, thankfully after changing one part, it is working now. I have some mineral water, the leftover dishes, I have green lentil soup and some Turkish köfte with potato and rice dish. And here I have fresh parsley and mint, I keep it in here and I have my um, cucumbers for the breakfast some peppers, eggplants, lemons, and some tomatoes here. Here are my gems, the strawberry, queens, orange, rose, and uh, kızılcık. I have a little bit yogurt left, homemade. Uh, these are vinegars. I mix it with water, like one tablespoon vinegar with one cup of water, one hour before the breakfast. That's it. <laughs> and here is my oven. I have a kettle here. Since it is uh, very white, it gets the heat better. My trays here. Uh, on the back, I have uh, these machines for uh, waffle. The other one makes mini donut. Uh, this is for ice cream. Uh, I'm planning to make uh, ice cream Turkish way very soon. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna share with you. And here I have, these are usually I use for serving, uh, earthenware. Uh, I use them to make sütlaç, rice pudding. On this side, I have my uh, coffee machine and I bought these jars, these are new. I put tea, flour, sugar, Earl Grey tea and coffee in them. Uh, they look very pretty. And I'm also planning to use the sugar and flour when I film. 
so they will be handy here I think I put my cups in here here I have my seasonings a black pepper red pepper flakes oregano mint and isot pepper the isot pepper has a more dense flavor and a smoky kind of flavor it's very mm, smells yummy I use it for chi köfte here I have my utensils shimshir this is shimshir these are wood um, this is uh, to carve uh, eggplant or uh, zucchini when you are making dolma this is to uh, cut chestnut it is very useful this is also for the stuffed pepper to make the uh, to take out the stem part of the pepper this is another uh, gadget very handy many of you asked me uh, where i bought it from this is from ikea but i don't think they sell it anymore and here i have another drawer these uh, cutlery are for guests we don't use it daily and here i have baking papers yeah, aluminum foils bags and these are the wooden molds for the uh, cookies i make I have uh, different designs. I have I shared the recipe with you before. These are for the uh, picnic. Hopefully we do it in the summer. I have my oklavas here in different sizes. And this is my silicone mat. Uh, next thing here, I use this part a lot. I have my tea glasses. This is the one I use the most and let me quickly show you how we use it we have these uh, little saucers you put the glass here and serve it like this and when you drink you drink it you hold it from top uh, we don't put the tea all the way up and this is how you drink it I use this uh, again uh, when I'm filming I like the colors and this is the top and here the one we mostly use the glasses these are daily ones we have different kinds of glasses and here on up i have again glasses but uh, i don't use them often i keep it for the uh, guests because uh, over the time they can get scratches uh, in the dishwasher so i keep them uh, separately and i don't use it daily we are coming to the part that you usually see when I'm filming because we are closer to the stall top. I really like this part. I keep my uh, spatulas, the sifter. I have uh, this whisker in different sizes and shapes. And my copper jezve, a small pan. We use it especially for when you make a butter sauce with red pepper, a pull biber, pour over the uh, soups before serving so uh, I, I bought this one because it looks very pretty and uh, traditional one and this is the jezve and this is traditional to uh, serve iron yogurt drink with it this is also new and very handy I really liked it because it is full glass even the top part it is easy to clean my stove top is glass it is not easy to take care of uh, after you clean it you have to dry it uh, with this cloth in this shelf it is the closest one to my stove top uh, before i had my uh, teas and coffee but uh, i decided to put my other seasonings as well as the yeast and the uh, orzo pasta and vermicelli pasta I use it a lot for soups and rice my baking soda and this is salep it is the main ingredient for the uh, Turkish ice cream as well as the milk drink we make salep and on top I have more double pots the mortar and pestle the parts for the hand blender sometimes we do need more teapots than especially when we have guests this is another part I use daily all the time 
It is very uh, close to the uh, table where we eat. So I put the, the my plates that I use mostly. These are very sturdy and very light. So I use them. These are my regular cutlery. I put this kitchen towel because when you work, when you grab something, it can get dirty, you know. So it is uh, useful to uh, cover it. And here are my bowls. I use them a lot. And I also have my food processor. This is very uh, handy. As you can see, it's light. And these are for the washing the rice and uh, other like legumes. Okay. I have this magnetic thing for my knives. It is really useful to keep them here and take it out. I really like it. And we came to another pantry, I can say. Here it is. <laughs> Don't look at this. I keep my dried fruits and nuts. We usually uh, eat with tea. On the up, I have cereal, the famous uh, pekmez, molasses, tahini, sesame paste, and honey. These are, uh, I have cocoa powder, uh, corn flour, and corn starch or wheat starch in uh, three of them. Here I keep my baking powder and uh, vanilla. In Turkey, we usually have these uh, jars uh, when you buy honey or molasses. This is like the traditional one we get. So uh, I have lots of them. Uh, that's why I didn't want to buy another uh, jars to make it more like pretty. So I wanted to still use them, but to reorganize it, to make it look pretty, I just bought these lids in same colors. I have also these smaller ones. These are also uh, old, very old from uh, United States. I really like the design. It's very classic and, I, and I'm still using them. Uh, this is Tarhana, dried powder. Uh, you make soup with it. The first ready ancient uh, soup, I can say. I have shared the recipe. Make sure to uh, check them from the links. It is also fermented, so uh, good for health. Uh, you dry out and uh, keep uh, use it year long to make soup. This is the tea brand I'm using uh, mostly. The favorite one is uh, Chaikur Tiriaki. You always ask me. Again, I want to mention that my cupboard doesn't always look like this. Sometimes you buy many things from sale, for example, so it doesn't look very neatly like this. It's normal, I think, it's, since it's a living kitchen. I try to reorganize like uh, once in a month and check my shelves, what I have, what I don't have, uh, what I need to finish before buy something else, so nothing is wasted. I have my pans. This is my bread machine. This one is a power source. It, it changes the power from 220 to 110 because my stand mixer is from the United States and this is also very handy. Uh, I can place it like this. I bought this also from IKEA. Okay, across to that wall I just show. This is my island. I have another shelf here. I have some serving plate here. In the corner I have my uh, onions, some walnuts. The hazelnuts are from Trabzon city. It's been three years I think I didn't go there. So we are planning to go this year hopefully and show you of course it's really beautiful uh, city. It is really hard to collect hazelnuts by the way. Uh, here is my kitchen island. I don't usually put on here. This is for you guys when I have some guests at home. On top shelf, I have in four different sizes of containers here. I have a bulgur wheat, rice, whole wheat flour and a sugar in them. Since I use a lot, I like to put them into this container. I have my cast iron pans. I use them daily almost. I have my flour here. It doesn't look very fancy, but it is very useful uh, because I use a flour a lot since I make my bread at home. You can just put it right away, 10 kilograms of flour at once. So I, I like to keep it here.
After the kitchen, you come to the balcony, which is kind of a dining area. Uh, we have our TV. Uh, I keep uh, some of the utensils that I don't use it or if I have the doubled ones. And let me show you here that um, I, I keep my uh, tablecloths here. This is another uh, small island I have. I use it when I film here in this area. It is kind of small, but sometimes I can still manage. I have more spices here. And uh, this one is also copper. You can clean it with very common two ingredients from the kitchen. If you know, you can write down in the comment section. And here I have my kitchen towels. These are the ones that I use most. So they are on top. And here I have uh, some part of the uh, mug collection. And this is the famous dining area we eat here. And I also use to make my menus in here. I tried my best to show my kitchen and uh, my utensils a little bit. I have lots of places to put, even though inside the cupboards can be updated for easy using. Hopefully I might uh, renew it later. But so far, I really love my kitchen. It's a bit hard time when I film because uh, I'm all over the kitchen island and then back to the stove, filming with my camera, going everywhere with the light and everything feel it a bit squeezy uh, because of the filming. Uh, otherwise, uh, I think it is reasonably big enough for a small family. And that's it, I really love my uh, view. If you have any questions, uh, you can ask me. I'm on my way with new recipes from this kitchen, as well as uh, planning new uh, excited trips to the Black Sea region to discover more new cities. I'm very excited. I can't wait to begin our trip. We are also in a kind of a big moment for my daughter because she's gonna take an exam for the university this Sunday. Please do pray for her. <laughs> uh, I hope she's not gonna hear it. I think she would watch later because she's still studying. It's really a big test for two days. There are like millions of teenagers wanting to go to the university. She did her best. Uh, I'm very proud of her. So that's it. This is from me for now. Stay tuned for the ice cream recipe and more. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Bye.